All right, y'all. I have some one by four bead board right here in a clear pine. This stuff is sweet. We're going to kill it. And then we're going to install it on a porch ceiling. I'm going to measure over four inches on each side of this header. And then we're going to chalk a line and install our first piece. I don't have to be right up against the header because I've got some crown molding and some furring to do on it. Actually, make it a little wider. And then I'm just using narrow crown staples in the tongue, just like hardwood. Upside down, though. No. Little tip of the day, you might have a bowed board like I do. Get you a scrap piece of wood, screw it to the ceiling joist. Look at that, create a fulcrum point. Squeezes it right over. Hey, if you don't like it, you can get the fulcrum out of here, man. <laughs> and then just nail it. Hey, it does great. Doesn't damage the ceiling. Very easy to use. I'm going to go ahead and use these slimline pop-in LED faux can lights and, and not use a conventional can light. That way we don't have bugs. It's going to be on a porch and that way bugs and stuff are not going to be getting into the fixture itself. I do not have a six inch hole saw, so I'm just going old school. Drill a couple holes, cut it out with the jigsaw. I know you can do it different ways, but hey, this worked great for me. And I, I'm going to keep on. I'm going to keep on keeping on. I took this scrap piece of one by, put it up inside the ceiling. I had a run or two right there that needed a little extra support. So I just put it up there, use some staples, and uh, give it some stability. Watch out now. This guy's got them flapper wheel skills to pay them bills. Cleaning up that cope. That's a long cope too, man. This is like a 60 degree acute angle. I don't know, but hey. The man did it. You know what I'm saying? So you see, I have a small block. I just use it as a reference line for the bottom of where my crown mold needs to go. Then you can fine tune the corners if you need to, up or down. And then I just use some pin nails to fasten this smaller crown. I like to use the pin nails versus a larger finish nail, especially on the, on the smaller stuff. And if you have to find an angle on a crown, piece of crown, I mark both sides. And that'll find you a point to measure from. That'll give you something to start with, and then you can fine-tune it from there. Just finishing up a little sanding on these butt joints. We got some caulking done, and we're about to prime this raw wood. I it's going to be a minute before the painters get here, so I just want to cover it up. And I used the Graco True Coat 360. I, it did pretty good. I, overall, I was pretty happy with it. That's it, y'all. That's how we installed the 1x4 tongue and groove beadboard ceiling on the pool house. Thanks for watching.